Hi there and welcome back to my channel. This is Sean, the Honest Book Reviewer. In this video we're talking about covers. My favourite covers from the books I read from April, May and June. I did a video from covers from the first three months of the year, from January to March, and every three months I'll do another video of my favourite covers. And then at the end of the year I'll do like a grand final video as well, and I'll talk about my favourite cover or covers for the whole year, for books I've read through the year. Now let's look at favourite covers of books I've read during April, May and June. The first is The Silence of Water by Sharon Booth. Straight away you can tell water plays a prominent role in this story. We've got the ocean on the cover, but also water in the title. Then the character on the cover as well. You can tell straight away this is historical in nature, the dress of the character, and it makes you wonder what this character is doing. What is she doing walking towards the ocean? What's in her mind? What does that mean? And is she going to walk into the ocean? You know, is she doing something drastic? All these questions go through your mind when you look at this cover. So there's a lot of elements on this cover that will drag you into the story. And for me, this cover is very powerful. It's very simple, but it's very powerful. The Book That Wouldn't Burn by Mark Lawrence. I like this cover so much. It's so detailed, very intricate. With this cover, you can kind of tell it's about a library because the title is about books. So you get that link when you look at the cover. Just the colours on this cover as well. They feel very earthy in tone. They don't feel muted though, they just feel earthy, but just the detail makes that cover stand out so much and it dragged me into it because the cover feels so big. That space on the cover feels so vast and it's very deep as well. So the image is very powerful, it drags you in and you kind of picture yourself in this cavern-like structure where these books are and these walkways are and it makes you wonder all about that from looking at the cover. So as covers go, especially for fantasy books, this cover is very powerful and I think it will drag a lot of readers into the story. The Invited by Jennifer McMahon. Again, a very simple cover, but it's very powerful. We have this peat roof of a house and we have a window that's lit and everything else about the house is in shadow. So it makes you wonder about that window. What's behind that window or what's drawing into that window? Those questions went through my mind when I saw this cover. Then it plays with the sky as well. That stormy looking sky, it's grey and with a few hints of like a dawn or a sunlight. And that's very powerful because this house is very prominent. That peat roof and that window is in the forefront of the cover. In the background, an almost threatening sky that's coming as well. So this book speaks about threats, about danger, about shadows and darkness. Also about what's coming into this house through this window. Is this window like a portal? inviting things in or is something coming out and if you go into this house is there something there that's a danger to you so all these thoughts go through my mind when i look at this cover i think it's a very powerful cover indeed and sometimes simple covers are the most powerful the hunt by kelly j ford look the cover is very powerful we have this yellow stain yellow dripping liquid on the cover that's meant to be blood i think symbolizing blood but golden like an egg yolk and the book is about an egg hunt for a golden egg so it's almost like this molten gold or this molten this golden egg yolk running down on the cover but of course it's symbolizing blood and danger so that kind of drags you in to the cover as well because that that title is very prominent and that golden liquid is behind the title and stands out on the cover so much but the title and that golden type liquid on the cover is set before this background of the town. And it makes you wonder about the town as well. Is that town dangerous? What's sinister in that town that's linked to this thing that's symbolizing blood on the cover? So when I look at the cover, that goes through my mind. And it makes you wonder what type of book this is. Because the cover is promising all that in the book. Final Girls by Riley Sager. I like this cover, it's constructed very well. The contrast between the border, the bright pink of the border, and then this darker image in the cover itself. They've got these trees that are very dark, they're black, and their leaves, their foliage just mesh into one big mass. And then it kind of creates an arch for this figure on the cover. And the arch is in brightness. But then that figure feels like 
it's in a sort of a trap or some sort of prison or enclosure and that figure can't get out. You get that sense, that almost dread, when you look at this cover, that that figure is in some sort of danger. There's a threat. And that threat has either captured this figure in this almost dome on the cover or very close to capturing the figure. So when you look at the cover, you, all that goes through your mind. It did for me anyway. I felt that danger in the cover. I thought that person is in grave danger. And I thought those the blackness of the trees just promises danger in this book. So it's a very powerful cover, very well done, very well put together, especially with that contrast with the bright pink around the edges and that darkness in the main image of the cover. Just very powerful indeed. So there you have a list from books I've read in April, May and June where I've enjoyed the covers. All those covers, in my view, are powerful for different reasons. And I just love the fact that there are so many different types of covers out there and the way covers are put together can sometimes tell a very powerful story. As I said at the start of this video, every three months I'll be doing another video about my favourite covers for books I've read in those three months. And then by the end of this year, I'll have another video that's almost like a grand final for covers. I'll talk about then my favourite cover for the whole year. On my channel, I review books from all different genres. Check out my channel and subscribe. On the screen now is a link to a video for another book I'm sure you'll enjoy.